Uh, so hey guys welcome back to an editing tutorial with lost talk today i'll be showing you guys how to create your own tone curve and also from my last videos a lot of you guys were like how do i create the ryan tone curve so here we go so let's get it started so first we're just going to come down here to the tone curve in lightroom basically it's divided into four channels the red green and blue and i don't want to get too much into the details i'm just going to show you guys like some specific points and you can get the result you want so on the red on the red green and blue channel the first point here is going to be 0 and 22 basically what you do is just like take your mouse and just drag it around and make sure you keep on following the numbers that are on top as you can see as i go on top it keeps on rising so until we get on 22 we're going to stop there and the second point here is 29 and 20 eight so we're just going to look for that 29 and just move your mouse around if you don't find a number um so here we're looking for 29 and 28 so the first number is 29 and you can see when i go down it's going to bring me right all the way to 28 also what i advise you guys editing is not just about copying what the person is doing it's also about understanding how it works to also create what you want you can see as i'm doing it right now it does not some people don't like it so also just try to understand the concept and do whatever you want um so here on 52 on 52 we're just going to come up here uh 52 and 52 perfect so the next point is 74 and 73 we're just going to come up here to the 74 and 73 uh we'll just go down a little bit yeah right now it looks about it looks okay and the last one is um 196 all you have to do is just like come down here okay so i'll just go ahead and just kind of do like a bit of recap to explain like what all these points means so here you can see on a channel basically you can do a lot of points you can do like a lot of points depending on the tone curve you want and a different tone curve will give you a different result and what i'm doing here i'll be giving you guys some specific points down in the description below and you guys can just follow it and do like a copy and paste you can use it for the meanwhile you get comfortable with the whole tone curve and try to understand it and honestly i just kind of got new to this tone curve stuff because it's really complicated so don't freak out if you don't understand it from the first touch so on the red channel the second point is going to be um the first one the first point is going to be zero and zero the second one is going to be 14 and 14 so we're just going to kind of we're looking for 14 but it looks like we're not finding it so uh, okay it's somewhere around here and 14 and 14 and you can see right now i'm kind of at 12 it kind of gives me like a kind of a greenish vibe so we can just bring it down a little bit and also always keep in mind what you're doing don't just follow what you're saying like you can see if i go here on 14 my picture becomes too reddish and that's not what i want so we're just going to bring it down here also see like see what you're doing see how your picture looks like depending on your style that's just what editing it's it's all about it's basically like a freestyle in lightroom so here at 32 we're just going to come up here at 32 and 24 okay right now it's just like too greenish for me to be honest this is not just working so we're just going to bring it up here at 34 and 33 um here we're going to go at 45 okay 45 here it does not still look good we're just going to leave it up here as usual okay right now it's even a bit too reddish for me still okay so from right now i guess you guys are kind of a bit understood like how the tone curve works and i'll be keeping these specific numbers in the description below so for the people that don't want to stay the whole video and like watch how i'm just fooling around you can just go down to the description below and just like copy and paste the settings so that's about it for the tutorial i don't want to keep on going and editing it because it's just like repeating points you just come to the green channel let's say for the first point of the green channel is zero and zero and the second point is 11 and 
15 you just come here you keep your mouse on the tone curve you just play around and you look for the numbers and also keep in mind that the numbers i have here might not will look good on your picture so be creative play with it play with it you know do whatever you want with it it's just about playing with the tone curve and with the different points and also maybe when you're done with the tone curve you can now come to the normal settings and actual and actually like edit your pictures and also to save your tone curve you come down here to custom point curve you just come down here you go to save and you write whatever you want to but we're not going to do that so that's about it for the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to follow me on instagram subscribe to my channel comment and like thank you bye